Real people, real life situations. Welcome to Reality Hour. What's good? What's good? All right. Uh, Ken, you got the letter for us. We're going to dive into it. What's up? All right. Dear Sam, I've been with my fiance three years and engaged for three months. To give a background, my fiance has been married three times and has a child with his first wife. When we first got together, him being married three times was a concern. However, he asked me not to make his prior relationships ours. Now that we have moved in together, I've noticed that he has some control issues. He also believes in complete submissiveness, which I'm cool with. However, I'm noticing some of the things that uh, he does that he, he may have been a factor in his prior relationships not working. I want us to get couples counseling, but he is dead set against it. <clears throat> he says his past is his past, and the problems that ended their relationship were not his fault. Is this a red flag? Am I asking too much of him? Run! Fast. Real Run, fast. woman. Yeah. Run. Hmm. So he, so he's not taking blame or fault. He doesn't want to get help. Who wouldn't want to go to counseling after three failed uh, marriages? Well, he doesn't feel that he's done anything wrong. Yeah, so. that's why you need to leave before you become number. Before you become the fourth. Yeah. Then it would be a fifth after you. But she said she doesn't have a problem with complete submissiveness. Oh, well, shut up and just be, do what he tell you to do then. Right. Shut up and obey. Oh. Yeah. I mean, she mm-hmm. said she don't have a problem. I don't have with a problem. It. Yeah. Until the, until they get to something you really want that you really don't want to deal with. I mean, let's run this back again. Okay. Three. All right. I've been with my fiance for three years and engaged for three months. To give a background, my fiance has been married three times. Stop right there. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, my God. He's been, you've been, how long was she with him? Three years. Three years, right there. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And, and then they've been engaged three months. Uh-huh. Correct. And what's the other three she said? He's been married three times. Three times. That right there lets you know something ain't right. Yeah. Three, three, three. Mm-hmm. You need to play the number. Three. Is that oh, what it my is? goodness. And has a child with his first wife. When we first got together, him being married three times was a concern. However, Stop right there. Yeah. Was a concern. You knew it was a concern. You knew. <laughs> right there. You had a warning. Yeah. Keep going. Read. However, he asked me not to make his prior relationships ours. Now that we have moved in together, I've noticed... Stop right there. Yeah. You moved in before you got married. <laughs> I can't. And you knew you had a funny feeling, but you went with your flesh and moved in with him anyway. Free. <laughs> I've noticed that he has some control issues. He also... Stop right there. Okay. You knew. You see <laughs> that he has control issues. Right. Free. He also believes in complete submissiveness. Which I'm cool with. However, I'm noticing some of the things that he does that may have been a factor in his prior relationships not working. I want us to get couples counseling, but he's dead set against it. Stop right there. Dead what? Dead set against it. Set against Mm, it. He don't want to do that. But you are still willing to be submissive to somebody who can't even submit themselves to you. Read. Mm. He says his past is his past, and the problems that ended their relationships were not his fault. Is this a red Stop. flag? Right there. Not his fault. Not taking blame. Three out of three? Ain't none your fault? <laughs> None's his fault. Please. So okay. she wants to know, is she asking too much of him? What are you asking of yourself is the question. Sometimes it takes a minute to get out the fog. That's, this is her reaching out, trying to get out of the fog, Sam. I mean, is that what this is? She's, she's making an effort. Out. Yeah. Oh my God! Making excuses to be abused, to be unhappy, to be wife number four, ex-wife number four. Well, let's read the comments. All right. Now Kelly said, if you're questioning it and asking a bunch of strangers, that tells me. You're doing a lot to accommodate and please him. Meanwhile, you're uncomfortable and soon to be unhappy. Reconsider marrying that man. I agree with that. I would agree. And Jocelyn said he is controlling and doesn't want to own up to his mistakes, meaning he has not changed them and is not willing to. He's telling you what he's not going to do. Right. He's telling you, don't be worried about my past. I hear that. I hear that. You should not, but you also, but you do have to be wise. Who wouldn't ask that question? 
she should ask some questions, but she wants to be. Su- so you, you have to decide. You can't play the fence. You can't say, you know, I don't mind being submissive, but this bothers me. Either you in it for that or you're mm-hmm. not. You mm-hmm. have to make up your mind first because you can't depend on somebody else to step in and do the right thing for you. You have to step in and do the right thing for you. Now, the first step was realizing what you're going through, writing it down, saying it out loud. Now you have to act on it because now you are aware. So it's your responsibility you let, you for know. your happiness. Yep, that's it. Yeah, don't be blaming nobody. Yeah. We all didn't, we broke it down since you wanted us to, to, to chime in. We didn't chime in. We didn't told you what it is. But people like you typically will make an excuse and put a butt in after everybody's comment on here and after all of us will be said, we already know you're going to stay and remain. Hmm. We know that already. Yeah. We know that can tell from your right. But you ain't got friends like that complain about they, about they mate. That's right. And then when you give your two cents, but hold up. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> but you know. 